Hello, I'm Ashton Lewis, the master brewer in residence for the Paul Mueller Company, and today we're going to talk about vacuum relief valves that are used to protect your tank from vacuum failure. The first type of valve is a small combination pressure spring-loaded vacuum relief valve. This type of valve is used on smaller tanks up to about 150 barrels. This is a reasonably low-cost valve used to protect your tank against vacuum failure. One of the disadvantages of this type of valve is often the vacuum pressure required to open the valve is rather high. For larger tanks, a more common type of vacuum relief valve is what's called a weight-loaded relief valve. The weight-loaded relief valve differs from the spring type in that the vacuum pressure required to open the weight-loaded valve is really quite low. These valves are used on tanks that are 200 barrels and greater. I have a larger weight-loaded relief valve here on the table. This is a 300 millimeter weight-loaded vacuum relief valve, and when it opens, there's a very large open area between the face of the valve and the opening to the atmosphere. This type of valve is typically welded into the top of the tank. Another feature of the valve that we have right here is what's called a pneumatic force opener. The pneumatic force opener is used during CIP to force the valve open. This ensures that the sealing surface of the O-ring is cleaned. The importance of cleaning the vacuum relief valve cannot be overstated. A dirty vacuum relief valve may fail to open when it is needed. So in summary, it's very important to protect your tank against vacuum failure with the proper type of vacuum relief valve. If you have any questions about vacuum or vacuum relief, please call the Paul Mueller Company. Thank you.